right in your feed. Catch K and Chip weekdays on News 12 Now at noon. On the way this half hour, Sean McDaniel joining us with the Chattanooga Red Wolves. Something going on for the very first time at the stadium. Great soccer and the first ever beer fest. Make sure and stick around for that. Also, charcuterie boards, a really cool thing. We'll highlight some of those and tell you the best way to whip one up in chips on the grill. Chattanooga State also on deck. They'll be joining us talking about the BOSS program and how that might help out you and your business. And we'll have a chat with a local comedian who has come back home at least for a while. All of that and more between now and the bottom of the hour. You keep it here and let's chat. Welcome to Let's Chat, the Tennessee Valley's premier show focusing on lifestyle and entertainment bringing you smart shopping tips, community events, and the newest trends. Now, let's chat. Good morning and thanks so much for joining us. It is Thursday, June 23rd. I'm Chip Chapman. Great show and a fun show coming up. We hope you will stick around. We have a few of these things that we need to talk about. And guys, here's one Taylor made for us. Ladies, you want one also. Um, we all have some annoying habits that we're trying to break. You have friends or coworkers who sometimes just tick you off so much you start cussing them out loud. Think driving on 24 at 75 during the height of the rush hour. Here's one for you. Just over $200 will get you the Pavlock 3. What's the Pavlock 3? It's an electric bracelet similar to a Fitbit or an Apple Watch. The catch is with this device, you can program it to zap you whenever you start cussing. <laughs> this has got so much potential, especially in Chattanooga rush hour traffic. Coming off the ridge cut, we have all, consciously or otherwise, ripped off a few four-letter words our mom wouldn't want to hear. Well, this will zap you every time you do that. It's a really cool idea. And this is not the first incarnation of the Pavlock bracelet. You can also set it to help you out when it comes to dieting, which also makes you want to cuss and a few other things as well. Think about it. How many times have you let a few less than pleasant words slip out while you're driving around town? Check it out. It's the Pavlock 3. In other news, actor Michael J. Fox is taking home an Oscar. It's an honorary Oscar, but Oscar nonetheless. The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences will soon award him the Gene Hirschhold Humanitarian Award. That'll be happening in November, and we'll have that here on CBS. This is for his work as an actor and for his dedicated efforts to help fight Parkinson's disease. You may remember he founded the Michael J. Fox Foundation back in the year 2000. That was nine years after it was made public that he has Parkinson's disease. And of course, Michael J. Fox, known for his role as Alex in Family Ties and in the Back to the Future movie franchise. He has won Emmy Awards, Golden Globes, Screen Actors Guild Awards, and even a Grammy. He's also, by the way, quite an accomplished musician, but this will be his very first Oscar. When you think of amusement parks, more than likely you think about Six Flags, Disney World, Dollywood, those all come to mind, but now you have a chance to buy a vintage amusement park in western Missouri. Check out the video. It used to be the Cumberland Gap Pioneer Settlement Park. It was based on an 1870s frontier town, had replicas of buildings that were fairly common at that point, such as an active blacksmith shop, a tavern, even a jail. It was open from the late 70s until the mid 90s. The owner said it was fun, but just not profitable. Now we haven't yet gotten word on how much they're asking for this. When we do, we'll make sure and pass it along. And what's a Thursday morning without a couple of animal stories? Let me show you three cute little critters who have found a way to beat the heat. 
thanks to the Oregon Zoo. They posted this video on social media showing their river otters taking a break from the high temperatures. How? They're playing in a bucket of crushed ice. The post called them the triple rascals on the rocks. As you can see, the otters, by the way, who are named Tilly, Flora, and Hobson, had a lot of fun. They live in the zoo's Cascade Stream and Pond Exhibit in Portland. And according to the National Weather Service office, Portland, as you know, is in the upper northwest corner of the state. They will get hit with their first really intense heat wave this weekend, much like we have been dealing with here for the past couple of weeks. Also, one or two more quick ones, a dog in Florida, and we've all heard the term dog, man's best friend, right? Check this out. Definitely, that's the case in point with our next story. Meet Leonard Lenton. Leonard now a millionaire because of his pregnant dog, who's named Ivy. Lenton says he took a different and quicker route home after getting a call that Ivy wasn't feeling well. That road, him, that road led him rather to a different convenience store where he popped in and bought a $10 lottery scratch off and won $2 million. Wow, 10 bucks getting 2 million, not bad. He chose a one-time lump sum payment of over one and a half million dollars and he claimed his good luck was all due to his lucky little dog by his side. There you have a look at some of the things you'll be hearing about around the water cooler as you head through the next couple of days. As we head through the next few minutes, we're going to be talking with Sean McDaniel from the Chattanooga Red Wolves. Also, it's chips on the grill and Chattanooga State. All of that and more. You keep it here on Let's Chat. team member in the paint shop here at Volkswagen Chattanooga and I love my job. I love being a part of a team. We're like a big family. If you want to be a part of a great team and start an awesome career, I recommend Volkswagen Chattanooga. Electrify your career with Volkswagen Chattanooga. Apply today at wearevolkswagen.com. We're a different kind of dentistry. One who believes in doing anything it takes to make dentistry work for your life. So we offer a complete exam and x-rays free to new patients without insurance every day. Plus, patients get 20% off their treatment plan. We're on your corner and in your corner every step of the way. Because your anything is our everything. Aspen Dental, anything to make you smile. Book today at AspenDental.com. Walk in or call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Adorama is a distribution center for a lot of things. I like to think all things fun. Cameras, musical equipment, scuba gear, you name it, we probably have it. They have stock pickers that they can go up in the air, tour trucks to move product around. We provide the tools to, to be successful. It's a good job. It's a good place to work. The uh, website is chat jobs.autorama.com and it will take you directly to the site to apply. Technology has greatly changed the world we live in. Unfortunately though, we see the unintended consequences caused by cell phones on a daily basis. If you've been harmed by a negligent or distracted driver, let us go to work for you. Wettermark Keith, the name you know and trust. You're watching Let's Chat. Well, there was a look at our seven-day forecast, and it gave it all away. We're talking mid-90s all the way through Sunday. I'll have more for you coming up today here at noon. This Saturday, the weather is going to be absolutely perfect to head out and check out some soccer. Not just any soccer, Chattanooga Red Wolves soccer. And joining us here to talk more about that, our friend Sean McDaniel, president, general manager, head cook, and uh, bottle washer. Chattanooga Red Bulls. Sean, good to see you again. Thanks for having me back out. All right, season so far, sum it up. We're about at the halfway point. We played last night and really 
uh, opened the floodgates, as they say. We scored seven goals. Wow. Won seven to one. Everybody got their, their money's worth and then some. Uh, and we play again Saturday. Uh, we try to keep ourselves in uh, at the top of the table. You guys this Saturday are doing something I don't think you've done yet since you've been at the helm of the Red Wolves. And it says here a beer fest. It's the first time, Chip, that we've really been able to offer anything beyond just the soccer game right. uh, prior to the game. And it's the first annual beer fest at CHI Memorial Stadium. And it's just what it sounds like. We have vendors from around the city, mm -hmm. Naked River, Big River, uh, Five Wits, Outlaw. And it, it's, it's for people to come early. Gates open at 6. Uh, you can buy a really cool stein and get uh, free beer and wow. beer tasting and, and then stay and enjoy the game afterwards. You, uh, you and I were talking the last time you were here just a few weeks ago about the buzz in the air and the excitement that surrounds every soccer match, each and every one with the Red Wolves. And it seems like that keeps getting bumped up an arch or two with every passing day. What do you attribute that to? You know, it, it's like a big billboard on the side of I-75. So every day when you drive north or south on I-75 as you come into Tennessee or, or leave Tennessee, the gateway, which is the official name of the development, mm -hmm. is literally coming up out of the ground. And every day something new is being built, something new is coming up. And, you know, in the city of uh, Eastridge, Hamilton County, Chattanooga, we haven't seen something this spectacular for for many many years so the excitement and buzz that you're talking about is just that people want to see they want to see what's coming and it's very contagious it's very contagious i was uh, we were out to dinner last week or so with some folks and somebody over another table over was talking about the red wolves and then that led to other folks in the room taking part in the conversation i'm just sitting back looking going wow sean's on to something which you already knew anyway you know it's the it's the model of live work play and as people are now coming into the development the gateway development we have 400 residential units literally being built almost done once they're there, Chip, now, now they're, they're there. And these people will live here. They'll come to the soccer games. The first restaurant's being built here. We break ground any day now. And again, it's something that Chattanooga hasn't seen for, for many years, if ever. And these are just the things that we know about and we can talk about here in this particular forum. I think there's probably, I think it's probably safe to say there are a few surprises a little bit further down the road. I wish I could tell everybody what's coming. <laughs> um, but it keeps the, the, yeah. the fans guessing, right? Sure. And that continues that buzz and that, that growth. All right, back to more on the Beer Fest. The uh, folks can get in starting at what time? Gates open at 6, mm -hmm. and they just go online to the Chattanooga Red Wolves-SC.com. And Chip, the, there's a big link there that allows them to not only see when the game is and right. what's coming, but you can buy, uh, purchase the, the beer stein. All right, so um, you get the stein, you get admitted to the game, and this is just going to be a, a, a huge a huge thing. Two beer vouchers, which enables you to stop by any of the vendors, right? That's right. And you can buy a few more if you're so inclined. Which is a great point. So even if you don't buy the beer stein, show up at 6, come with your friends, mm -hmm. enjoy the, the festivities, and then stay and watch what we hope is another uh, high-scoring game from the Chattanooga Red Wolves. Yeah, and as exciting as a soccer game is, even when it's a low-scoring game, I can only imagine what it's like when you have a 7-1 to score like you did here just what last night. What was so great about last night are people were just as excited at the seventh goal as they were at our first goal. And yeah. that's what we love about our fans. Yet another symbol that you're really on the way to something even bigger than what you already have. Which that's is right. pretty darn good. Hopefully you and I can get together here over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully you'll bring us some tickets to give away on the air because that would just be the ultimate thing. Sean McDaniel, thanks so much. Thank you. By the way, who, who are the Red Wolves playing this Saturday? We play FC Tucson. They beat us at home last time they were here. So oh. there's a little bit of a revenge match here. We ain't going to let that happen no. again. No. I'd be willing to bet on it. Sean, always great to see you. Chattanooga Red Wolves-SC.com tells you everything you need to know. Chattanooga Red Wolves-SC.com and we'll be right back with more and we thank you for watching News 12.